the or is it an, is an anomaly. So it's gonna provide you all the forensic evidence that you need to really focus in and, and solve uh, cybersecurity issues from your untrusted devices. Next. So uh, again, this is the this is the the million dollar question, right? Why is it slow? Uh, is it the network? Is it the VPN? Is it the application? Flowmon can provide the insight to your teams to make this quick determination of where the problem lies. Um, is it is it network performance, right? Is it the VPN performance, or is it the server or the application? We can calculate using existing traffic on traversing your network, server response times, network latency, and also application performance. Next. So I, I talked previously about being able to show top talkers who's using all the bandwidth. And if you were to drill down on that information, you could you might see some information like this, right? So for a particular user, you might be able to see, you would be able to see uh, bandwidth usage for different types of streaming services that are out there. Now, obviously these are probably not um, legitimate uses of company um, bandwidth, right? So if you are not split tunneling, meaning all remote users internet traffic is flowing through your corporate internet uh, or, or uh, internet, um, you're gonna be able to evaluate um, how much bandwidth is being used and then you can then create policies to shut this, this activity down um, using uh, you know, web content filtering, um, but it's gonna give you that visibility so you know again why the bandwidth is as high as it is. Next. So besides VPN uh, capabilities, the next most important thing our remote workers are, are needing is video conferencing capability. Right, they've got the VPN, now they're gonna start doing their meetings. So we can provide dashboarding showing you performance and, and or, or a bit rate and bandwidth consumption for video conferencing systems. Um, this is, this is uh, obtained through looking at DNS requests, it's obtained through looking at IPs and host names of, of, of services people are accessing. This is gonna another piece of analysis that's gonna help you right size your uplink and your VPN. Excellent, thank you, OJ. Uh, we now open for uh, questions on the chats. Um, OJ, I do have uh, two questions. I'll ask you, I think one question is for you. Uh, what kind of maintenance or care and feedings does this system need? Great, yeah, thanks. Um, so, you know, this solution, as I mentioned, it, it, it consists of, of just one physical box. And on top of that box, uh, Niagara is plugging in our analytics platform. And so I think with most appliances, you know, maintenance is next to nothing. That's why we like them, right? Um, and and Flowmon's running on a hardened Linux appliance on top of that. So as far as care and feeding goes, it's really, it's really next to nothing. You're just gonna wanna make sure that you, you know, provision and remove users on an on an as needed basis. Um, we're going to set up. We're going to make sure that you have the right amount of storage for as long as you want to keep the data. Um, that's about it. Okay. Thanks for that question. Thank you. Um, there's another one question here. Uh, how the solution can scale if more VPN connection or remote users are required? And I can uh, I can take that. Uh, so, you know, the Niagara Networks platform, basically with the embedded Flowman monitoring application, supports uh, any rate from 1, 10, 40, all the way to 100 gig. So while uh, Niagara Networks provide the uh, offloading, uh, as after the offloading, we are sending only the VPN traffic to Flowman for monitoring. So the network may gonna have several of uh, tens or maybe several of 40, gigs coming in, but essentially we'll uh, offload only the VPN traffic for the Flowmon for monitoring. Okay. Well, with that said, OJ, I want to thank you. 
and I want to thank everyone uh, joining this webinar. Uh, please uh, feel free to ask. You have uh, the emails here and our website to get access. Sorry, sorry, Eagle. I just want to mention we do have one more question that just came in. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, I don't see that question. Sorry, yeah, the question is, uh, does this support zero trust network access as well? Okay, so if, if you don't mind, I'll, uh, I'll take that. Yep. So uh, uh, es essentially, uh, the platform of uh, the Niagara Networks uh, allows the Flowmon, but essentially it's open to any other vendor as well. So it could be, uh, a zero trust access, it could be uh, another security tool or maybe uh, uh, an NTA or the, as such. So the answer is yes. Um, it's a, if it's a VM, it's much easier to, uh, to deploy it. It's uh, rather quickly. And uh, you know, the Niagara and the network's pretty much providing the traffic grooming to take the traffic from different uh, application or different uh, vendors products. Okay. Anything else you see on your side, uh, OJ? No, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well, again, uh, we have our emails here on the left hand side with our website. And thank you everyone for joining. Stay safe and healthy in these days. Okay. Thank you.